So what are we talking about today? We are talking about SD branch, right? And we brought the experts, or I should say we brought a expert, Scott. Tom, I'm not going to give you that much credit yet. Yeah, so, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> So let's uh, let's get this started. Let's start with a little bit of uh, 101 here. What what is the main problem STD branch is meant to solve, and why would I or someone care about investing in SD branch? Okay, well I'll start off with that one, and you know because it's built on the shoulders of SD WAN is kind of the evolution of SD WAN. Scott, really, what where does what does it address with that with that as the as the as the base? What does that really mean? Right. Well, an SD-WAN really um, was kind of an overlay of features, right? So it was taking multiple internet connections and then adding other features on it for resiliency, bandwidth aggregation, uh, taking our existing technologies. So now that we have these resilient connections out at the branch, how do we manage the whole the branch as a whole? And so that's where SD-Branch came through, coming through kind of a, a – a common management platform for all of the infrastructure, all the things from your router to your firewall, switch, uh, wireless, endpoints, uh, all of the different features and being able to softly, software centrically manage those. So, uh, okay, so let's take a look. Efficiency. You bring up a, a good question. Maybe we should just uh, take a step back and talk about what's the real difference between SD WAN and SD branch? Thank you. Right, yeah, and, and, and SD-WAN is part of SD-Branch. Uh, SD-WAN, you know, for those branch offices, you have to get them connected back to corporate. So having that uh, multi-WAN experience to be able to make sure that all your branches have fast, secure access back to HQ or out to the cloud for all their different apps, um, that SD-WAN is uh, an integral part of SD-Branch, and SD-Branch includes that as well as a common management platform to manage all the different aspects of that branch network uh, from the sw from the switches to, uh, like I said, wireless endpoint protection, cloud apps, all the things that you need to do to manage all of the, all of the, uh, the users and, and keep, keep them protected out of, out of the edges all right. of your network. Um, can we, can we maybe distill part of that down? like distill it down to like the main benefits of SD branch? Yeah, really it's, it's using a common, a, a common platform so that you have the efficiencies to scale. So I don't have to have guys that are experienced in four different vendors. They can come in, they know what to expect. They, and it's uh, easy management, easy to roll out remotely. And it's really just about kind of breaking things down and making it easy and a uh, cookie cutter out of the branches so that, uh, one person can scale across a whole lot more branches. Uh, so operational efficiency really for, for IT and, and partners. All right. I like efficiency. Tom, you look like, are you confused or? Well, I was just thinking about, you know, they're, they're in the benefits. I, I think there are some subsets there. And I think that one of them is reducing cost, right, Scott? And, and, and how does it do that? I mean, what's the real way that it does that, pulls that down? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's having one box that does uh, multiple features. You know, uh, our, our firewalls, not only do you have the SD-WAN built into it, you're not having to do a separate SD-WAN device and having complex routing and those issues. It's all built into one device. And from that same screen, you're managing the other aspects of that branch network. So it's, you know, it's one box, you know, it's kind of that one ring to rule them all, right? Um, you know, and so coming in and having that simple solution and being able to enforce it uh, across, you know, something that's easy to deploy uh, an intuitive OS, that kind of thing, to make sure that it, it's super easy to have your staff learn and maintain across. Yeah, yeah. In fact, know, on the automation side, Scott, you can you can actually build some templates and things like that to be able to uh, apply them, or is that coming in new releases? Or Yeah, that's coming out soon. Uh, our Capture Security Center, right now you can go ahead and manage your firewalls, and we do actually have licensing where you can apply one change across multiple firewalls. Uh, as well as scheduling them. So, you know, all of us IT guys all work uh, during the day, and then, of course, the maintenance windows are at night. So 
work when you're fresh, schedule those changes, and then you just have to do a trust to verify. So uh, it really lets one person be leveraged across a, a wide number of uh, remote sites. And that, that automation, right on, so, yeah, uh, and yeah. then being able to template, they'll be able to templatize that and be able to actually have templates so that, again, uh, consistency is key. Uh, whether you're an right MSP or, or a multi-branch company, you've got to, uh, knowing what's at every site and how it should be set up is, and having those templates to enforce that, that's really the key to um, streamlining your operations and your MSP if you're as a partner. Yeah, so that's almost like a soft reduced cost there because it's the ease of use and things like that, the automation. 